that trash. Oh, really? Yeah, really. No, that's his decision. It may be comforting for some Brits to see all these weird characters showing up on their TVs. But for others, the intensity of American culture can be something of an inspiration. The funny thing about the Jerry Springs show is that sometimes I find it really moving. Sometimes I felt ashamed that I was watching it. Um, all these, all of these uh, um, conflicting emotions. Sometimes I, I was embarrassed for the people on the show. I was, I, sometimes I felt an anti-American um, upsurge. Other times I felt like a hypocrite. So it, it, it was really interesting. The English mindset, the knee-jerk reaction was, oh, it's just, you know, people on stage screaming at each other, a huge audience screaming at them. It was just a bleep fest. And I suddenly thought, hang on, this would be a great opera. And it really was a eureka moment. I thought, okay, I have to do this. I'm going to do this now. When it first came out, my agent called me and said, there's this great show that you'd be great for. And uh, he said, it's Jerry Springer, the opera. And I just thought, what a ridiculous idea. Oh, so did I. I couldn't that's think how they could do it. Did but you know? that's why I think it's so clever. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes the more truth we play it, the kind of funnier and is, almost yeah, sadder right. it is, in a way. Isn't I it? play Dwight. I'm a serial adulterer. I, uh, I've got three women on the go. Uh, Peaches, a beautiful Carrie here. Uh, her best friend, Zandra, and I'm also uh, three-timing them with a man. <laughs> but uh, don't knock it till you tried it. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Okay, Dwight. As a British person, you feel that this is a kind of piece of American trash and what a shame that our culture will be infected by it. But it does seem to embody on some level uh, some of the things that are great about America, namely freedom of speech and a certain kind of social equality in that everyone there is allowed to say whatever they want, no matter how stupid and ill-informed it is. And I think there's something noble about that, genuinely. Watching the spectacle, we sensed a curious mix of superiority and envy towards America. There was the usual British infatuation with weirdos and trashy culture. But at the same time, there seemed to be a yearning for a kind of vitality that's missing in Britain. So the America of Jerry Springer may be crawling with crazies but it's also full of possibilities. There were a couple of views of the show that said, look at these ridiculous Americans and the way that they're being portrayed, isn't it great? Um, and um, that was never our, our intention, but I think that why that is happening is not so much to do with the show, but to do with the fact that People want an outlet for anti-Americanism. I mean, the most commercial thing you could do in Europe at the moment would be to write an explicitly anti-American show. If you made a film which was about George Bush being tortured to death for an hour and a half, it would be massive all across Europe. Everyone would go. I mean, you wouldn't. You couldn't do it, unless it had artistic merit. Every single English class hates America in its own special way. And every single English class loves America in its own special way. What they don't dare to acknowledge is that they are, you know, that their kind of mindset has been formed by America much more than they dare to think. And that they have taken on a lot of American values for themselves. And that really in attacking what they perceive to be the USA, they're attacking themselves. You've got to understand what we Brits really deep down think about America. Shall I tell you the, the deep truth that your viewers have got to accept and they won't like it? We basically think we invented you. <laughs> and you're our creatures. 
and you're our proxies. And because you happen to be speaking our language, which as Bismarck correctly said, was the single most important fact in world history, we take a proprietorial pride secretly in everything you do. So well done and carry on. <laughs>